Well, working on this after getting back in from recording a wedding leaves me with no video equipment set up. So this is what we get today. Sorry about that, guys. But the good news is we have a few leaks regarding NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 2060 and GeForce GTX 1160 graphics cards courtesy of video card. But in this video, we will be specifically focusing on the GeForce RTX 2060 Founders Edition. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 will be the latest entrant in the Turing family of GeForce graphics cards, aiming at the mainstream market and a price target of 250 US to 300 US dollars the graphics card will become popular among the gaming community, like its predecessor, the GeForce GTX 1060, which currently holds the top spot on Steam's hardware database since it launched. Now coming to the details in terms of specifications, we know that the card will be using the TU-106 GPU core, just like the RTX 2070, and this GPU SKU will be slightly cut down from that full variant, and will be featuring 1920 CUDA cores, 240 tensor cores, 30 RT cores, 120 TMUs, and 48 ROPs. The card will feature clock speeds in the 1300 MHz base with 1680 MHz boost range while delivering up to 6.5 TFLOPs of compute performance. Since the card has 6 slower RT cores than the RTX 2070, it may end up with around 4 to 5 giga rays per second worth of ray tracing performance. And this would allow for RTX in 1080p with medium settings and a playable FPS. When it comes to memory specification, the card would feature 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory along with a 192-bit bus interface running at 14 gigabits per second and this would deliver around 336 gigabytes per second of bandwidth for the card, which is higher than the GeForce GTX 1080 with 10 gigabits per second GDDR5X dies. Now coming straight to the design, we can see that the card uses the same shroud as the GeForce RTX 2070, which is much smaller than the ones featured on the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti. It still comes with dual axial fans and the aluminum die cast metal frame. The RTX 2060 logo can be seen in the middle and the card has the shroud engulfing the entire length of the card and even the back with a separate back plate. There is a single 8 pin connector like the RTX 2070 but the card would end up using slightly lower power than that of the 2070 and display outputs include two display ports, one HDMI and one USB type C and a single DVI-I port. The card also doesn't feature any NVLink connectors, which is to be expected from a TU-106 chip based product. So there we have it. That is the GeForce RTX 2060 Founders Edition so far. Things could change before launch. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on them. Hopefully we'll see these launch around the CES timeframe, which is, well, only a week away from now. So hopefully we'll get some news then. Let us know what you think about the RTX 2060. Uh, do you, you know, are you looking forward to the uptick in performance for that price range, if that's indeed where they come out at? And does the enticement of being able to perhaps utilize ray tracing in that price, price bracket interest you? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next video.